Alright, let's try this again. This is the third try. Alright, I'm going to do a tutorial for HLDJ users for play music on uh, CSS servers or whatever server, if they allow it anyway. And, you know, everyone can play music, but uh, it's not, it's, a, it's your responsibility to make it sound good so people don't get mad. And it's not considered mic spam, etc., etc. First thing you need, HLDJ. Yada yada. You go. Download. This is going to be quick because I've done it so many well, two times already, and hopefully it works this time. So, google.com, follow HLDJ, download, um, download, voila. Uh, if you don't know what bit you have, so you should already know. Go, I have Windows 7, I go to Computer, System Properties, shows you my uh, system type, 64-bit operating system, so I want to choose 64-bit download it, open it, I can either save it somewhere and then extract it or just open it with the extractor itself. I choose WinRAR. Let's open that up. Uh, first off, I want you guys to read ah, I want you guys to read uh, this right here. Etiquette. Etiquette is very important and if you don't want to watch me do all this and still have problems, just uh, go to the manual and open that up. It'll teach you everything. Alright, now that we've downloaded HLDJ, you can extract it somewhere. I extracted mine to the desktop for easy access, quick access, yada yada. Alright, now you're HLDJ, you have HLDJ.exe. You can open that up, and uh, now you have your uh, profiles. So go to this little gear, it sets up your profiles. If it doesn't have them already set, then set them to go. Uh, if you play Counter Strike Source, then go to that. Uh, directory right there. Um, Counter Strike Source forward slash or backward slash backslash C Strike. Sorry, um, jitty, jittery. All right, now you want to edit it. That's a that little mount or pencil. You want to edit that profile. Make sure the directory is correct. Uh, if you don't even have any directories, you want to add them. Uh, uh, add all worked for me. I got oh wait, never mind. Wait, you want to edit it. Uh, engine needs to be sourced or whatever it is for your game. This is your audio key. This is the key that you hit in-game. That plays, it toggles on and on, on and off your music. Like, for instance, if I was in-game right now and I had my music selected, if I hit Alt, it would start playing. If I hit Alt again, it stops playing. Your audio directory is whatever uh, music or whatever file that your HLGJ loads up whenever you're in-game. I have it to set up so where it loads this, yeah, it has uh, it shows only middle of every day and then these two folders, and I usually go into music, and boom, there's all my music files that I play for my server because I'm awesome. Everyone loves music, and especially if you can use it responsibly, that's why you get just come kind, of, kind of like a DJ. Everyone likes a DJ, and everyone loves being a DJ because you get you can uh, if if you. If if it starts going good, you can start asking for requests, and that opens your library to music to insanelyness, I guess. I don't know, it's awesome. <coughs> Anywho, you want to accept that those settings. Accept. Now, uh, we have HLDJ. Now we need the music to go into these files. See all that? Yeah. We want some of that good stuff. It's going to take a while, but it's worth it in the end. Uh, I would recommend buying your music from, you know, iTunes or whatever. I don't recommend, and I don't promote pirating because it's illegal. And, you know, the people who are making millions of money obviously need to make 99 cents more. I don't know, whatever. So these are my songs that I have so-called purchased. And let's find someone that uh, let's find a song that someone referred to me. I've had some good uh, re re requests. Uh, I love it. I love these songs. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Alright, now the next file that we're going to need is uh, DB Power Amp Music Converter. I uh, just looked at that to see how that went, and apparently it's a <coughs> little loud when I do that. And I apologize for the crickets. Um, well, I don't really apologize, but it's just different, I know. Uh, they're in my room, yes, I have three lizards. They're pretty awesome. And they eat crickets, so I raise crickets so they can eat and not die. Dead lizards are not fun. Like I said, we need DB 
power amp converter. Google DB power amp music converter. First link, you want to install it. Yes, save the file again. I've had to download these. Oops. I've had to download these things so many times because my tutorials suck or they keep not working. Choose your directory and install whatever that said. Probably bad. All right. It's once you install it, it opens up your configuration. Everything should be good. You definitely want to convert to or the convert to on the right click menu. That definitely helps. And this also helps if you have a whole folder of music that you want to just convert to, because uh, you can just right click on the folder and it converts the whole folder of MP3s into whatever you need it to be. All right. Settings are good. It's okay. Let's try this again. Try again. There. Try again, Dan. Alright, now you want to run the program, now it's finished. This comes up, I've never read this, I don't care about this, this is dumb. Try again, there. Now, you have a downloaded DB Power App. You can go to your music now. Download whatever music you want to uh, put into this CSS Waves, which is, or whatever you have to be your audio directory. Now, uh, I chose. All right, that's my song. My voice not too loud. I choose that song. Now you're gonna see this. Convert to. You want to click on that. You want to make sure that you're converting to a wave. That's it's uncompressed. You want to keep it as a 16-bit. If it's not set as it already, it's gonna be one-channel mono. And you want it to be at 11 kilohertz for dB power amp. That's the best setting you can get, closest to the exact number. I don't know what it is. Default, it normally says, I believe, to the original folder, which would be whatever all your other music's in. That could be a hassle. I just choose to go to my directory folder, which is the one that I have my audio directory set up for, which is CSS Waves, like this one. If, uh, if I were to, once I convert this, boom, it converts. You notice it starts getting converted into here. Now it's only a it's a wave sound. So which we that's exactly what we want. Finish. We're done with these. Now the next part it involves uh, gold wave. You probably don't have this yet. If you do, congratulations. Skip forward a little bit. All right, gold wave download. Download gold wave. I choose that one. The primary server. Save the file. Right on, Gold Wave is opened. You want to start Gold Wave? Well, you don't want to start it, I guess. Yeah, you do. You want to open it. That's the installer. And next, choose directory. You can choose to have your all that, whatnot. And then hit finish and it installs. And whenever it's done, it opens up on its own. And you can just close it out of it or open up a, that file that you had earlier. Doesn't matter. Easiest way, I think, is this. I got my music file. It's unmessed with. You want to open it with Gold Wave. 